All righty, Chef Buck here, and today we're cooking us up super delicious, super simple seafood stew. This is a great thing to throw on the stove, especially during some cool weather. Get you some olive oil heated up in a pot on medium heat. Then we're going to throw in some chopped onions, some hot peppers, and some celery. Now the hot peppers, you know, that can be optional based on your taste, but always throw some celery in there. Celery is great in stew because no matter what you do, it's going to add a little bit of crunch to it. Throw you some salt in there and some finely chopped garlic, and then you're going to push these vegetables around until your onions get soft and translucent. You know, you don't want to overcook these things, but just give them a few minutes on their own, and then we're going to throw some tomato paste in there. I like to get the bottom of the pan all nice and tomatoey pasty, you know. I'm almost cooking this tomato paste on the bottom, you know. And if it gets stuck, that's all right, you know. We're not trying to burn it on there. But what we're going to do is we're going to add one cup of white wine. So any tomato paste that's stuck on the bottom there will get deglazed and it'll melt right off of there. And you'll get all these flavors going together. And man, it just smells so wonderful. And then we're going to add some spices, a little bit of bay leaves, some oregano, some thyme, and some basil. And these dried herbs, you know, go ahead and give them a good rub between your hands as you put them in. And that'll help to start to release these flavors. Let these ingredients co-mingle and fraternize for about five minutes. You know, allow a little bit of time for this white wine to cook off some. Then we're going to go ahead and throw in one can of diced tomatoes along with two cups of water and one cup of chicken broth. Then what you want to do is you want to raise up the heat, you know, bring it to a nice bubble. Then we're going to reduce it to a simmer, throw the lid on there, and let it cook for 30 minutes. And now you've got a tasty foundation ready for some seafood. And what you can put in here is one pound of whatever the hell you like. I got a little bit of chopped up white fish, some squid and some shrimp and some clams. But you can just put some shrimp in here or just some fish, whatever the hell you want. But what you want to do is you want to go ahead and let it simmer for about another seven and a half minutes. Now if you just do it seven minutes or eight minutes, that's okay. But after that time, you know, go ahead and turn your heat off and you'll be good to go. You'll be ready to serve it up. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and throw a little bit of rice in there with it. Or you can just serve it as is with some crackers. But this is super simple, super tasty. Oh, I forgot the lemon. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and squeeze you a half a lemon in there if you want. And now you can serve it up. So there you go. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. And bon appetit. All right, enough whistling. Uh, last week, you know, I went to a dance at a clam bake and I pulled a muscle. <laughs>